if you are receiving this message, that means you too are still fighting the good fight. Today is day six in complete isolation and quarantine. Well, actually, not, not complete isolation. You guys remember my cousin Tyler? Well, he came to visit me in Texas. Turns out we got put on complete lockdown. So now we're stuck in this apartment together for probably the next four months. We've exhausted all resources. Like, like entertainment resources. I have plenty of food. I stocked up on applesauce, stocked up on chicken. But in terms of entertainment, we're at, we're at peak boredom, man. Played a lot of Fortnite. Fortnite's way too hard now. Knocked him, knocked him. Push, 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 push. No, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, shots, he doesn't see shots. me. Oh, no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Call of Duty Warzone. You can only play that for 18 hours a day. All right, Tyler. Let's go, Tyler, we drop it in. There's me, there's Tyler. Let's go. All right, man. Coming get my back, hey, dog. I need him. to come with the reinforcements. Right. I can't do everything. Reinforce me. It's I'm going in blind. Shoot. It's I'm not going hard blind against three people. There's nothing I can do can there. You guys, please shut up. I brushed up on some car street, but there's no one to do magic for. So this is uh, this is reaching peak, peak. Board. So I figured I'm gonna get you guys some added entertainment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a paper airplane building competition. And in this video, not only will I have destroyed Tyler with my superior engineering mind, you guys will also know six really awesome paper airplanes that fly maximum distance and how to make them out of a playing card. I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody else that's doing this. Welcome to Top Gun. All jokes about being in quarantine aside, that's something that I am taking extremely seriously and you should as well. It's the best way that you can fight the spread of the coronavirus. I'm not gonna sit here and act like an expert and tell you what you should be doing. You should be looking towards the medical professionals for that. However, one thing I do wanna emphasize is that you keeping yourself isolated in quarantine is not for you, it is for other people. This is a selfless act. For instance, you are protecting the elderly people who might be affected more so by getting coronavirus and someone like me who was immune compromised with all my stomach sickness, people like me and there's millions of people out there who have the same sort of issue with their immune system are gonna be affected in a much more serious manner. So when you're keeping yourself isolated, keep in mind, it's not for you, it's for everybody else around you. With that in mind, let's get started with our entertainment, build some paper airplanes. As I said before, here are the rules. We're gonna make three paper airplanes each, but one of them is gonna be made out of a playing card. Nice little twist. We're going to throw them up the balcony and see whose goes the farthest. It's really that simple. We're also gonna make sure there's no overlap on us making the same airplanes. All right, let's get it started. So this first paper airplane I'm gonna make is something that I just know by memory from my youth. And if I remember right, it is a world record holder. All you do, you're gonna line up the sides here and fold it across. I believe this is a hot dog style. Obviously you wanna take your nail in make that nice and clean. From there, we're just gonna open it back up and fold down the two corners right across that middle line. Nice and clean, just like that. You gotta make sure we're precise here because we're playing to win. Now from here, once you have it like this, all you're gonna do is take this whole end and fold it down to the bottom there with about an inch in between. Once you get it there, flatten out. And fold out just like that. Now, you take this end, bring it down, line it up with the middle line, get that crease going. Crease it down, same thing with the other side. Then this piece comes up and folds down over the top like that. Then you take the whole thing and fold it like that. Then all you do is take one wing and you take this top wing line and line it up with the bottom line right here. So 
kind of just like that. So it comes to a point at the front. Bring it down, go across, flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. So now what you have, you wanna bring it up so that the wings are kind of like tilted up a little bit. You grip on this nice little triangle here and then throw. Easily beat Tyler. All right, so first paper I'm gonna make real quick here. All right, you gotta close the door. I don't wanna be hearing any of your low Better IQ. ideas? Yeah, yeah I thought no, so. No, no, no. Yeah, close the door. Bye-bye. Right, right. Thank you. Enjoy my office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so first thing you do to make this paper airplane, pretty simple. You're gonna fold the paper in half so you have that crease down the middle. Makes it easy to line up the rest of your folds. Makes the rest of the building just a lot easier. Okay? Next step, like most paper airplanes start, we're gonna fold the corners down so the top comes to a point. Then, after you get the top to a point, you're gonna flip and fold the back side in, like so. Now once it looks like this, you're gonna take the top, fold it down until that tip, careful now, because this is gonna crease up on you, until that tip meets the bottom right there. Flip it over again, fold in half. And now important to know when you're making the wings, what you're gonna to wanna to do is fold it so it's flat starting at the point, okay? So you're gonna fold it there and make sure there's that line all the way from the tip. You see that? Do that with both sides. And there you go. Game winning paper airplane. Off rip. Now for my first paper airplane, you guys saw that it was a very simple concept and I do think that that's the one that's gonna bring home a victory for me. Actually, all mine are going to. But I'm not gonna try and reinvent the wheel here. You see, keep it simple, stupid. Kiss is my philosophy, and sometimes the best answer is the simplest one. So for our second paper airplane, we're gonna go with the most basic one of all time. You'll never see this coming. All you gotta do, fold hot dog like before. Get a nice, clean hot dog fold. Bam, right down the center. Okay, then you're just gonna fold the corners down, but you're folding down to the outside, not the inside like the first one. Bring that corner down and line it up at the bottom. Now the key part for this one is that the point that you're coming to on the airplane, you want that point to be as precise as possible. So you really wanna take some time, maybe even use a ruler, which I will use for my competition airplane of this design style, and make sure that it is all lined up precisely. But since you guys do car show and magic, I already know your dexterity is on point from here. Once you have those two folded down the outside like that, just gonna fold down the wings to the bottom like before, bringing it all to an exact point. So you bring it to the bottom, line it up perfectly. Get that wing. Same for the other side, line it up perfectly. And then we're gonna go very, very simple once again and just take it and fold it down to the bottom again. Now this fold, you're getting pretty thick here, so it's gonna be difficult. You wanna make sure that this point comes to the point as exactly as possible. And that is sometimes pretty difficult to get. So don't be afraid to do a couple different trial runs before you get it down perfectly. Because right here, it's gonna get a little bit difficult to fold. Get your nail in there. That's actually just pretty well right there. Bring it down and the same for the other side. Obviously, the more symmetrical you make your paper airplanes, the more consistently it's gonna fly. All right, that's the basic idea right there. This is your classic throw at your middle school teacher while he's teaching you math out of the goodness of his heart paper airplane.
Now the next one I'm gonna make is a little bit more complicated. So I think we're just gonna time lapse, speed it up to make it, because it's a lot of steps. But this one is one I know for sure will win any contest you're trying to do, guaranteed. We'll post a link in the description if you wanna look at the instructions yourself, all right? There you go. Best one in the game, right there. Tyler's in the other room building his paper airplanes right now. Obviously, he's gonna be a complete failure. I've got both my paper airplanes done, and I've been experimenting with different ways to do the, the playing card airplane. And because cardstock is so thick, I'm struggling a little bit. Like, we just gotta do really basic folds. And none of them are really, like, really flying that well. But, you guys heard me go over the rules, right? You obviously throw a paper airplane. So, for my playing card, paper airplane, I'm just gonna go onto the balcony and take a playing card and uh, throw it. And it'll go a lot farther than his. No rules broken, just innovation. So, for the playing card, paper airplane, step one. Normally when you're making a paper airplane, you fold it lengthwise. For this one, we're gonna do, uh, as my first grade teacher used to say, hamburger style, as opposed to hot dog style. All right, so your wider side in, and you wanna make sure your creases are tight because playing cards are harder to fold. So I'm just gonna use this hammer. It's conveniently sitting on this desk to make sure this fold is nice and tight, okay? Once you make your fold, just like any other paper airplane, go ahead and fold the corners in. Again, making sure your folds are nice and tight because that's very important for the integrity of the plane. And then I'll go ahead and iron out my folds with this hammer. You're gonna fold her up like this, so the folds are still facing the outside. And then immediately following, you're gonna fold down as far as you can, getting to the point without actually overfolding. okay? So get as close as you can to the tip, folding down. Make sure your wings are lined up there. Crease out your folds. Rock and roll, there you go. Playing card, paper, airplane. Ready for flight. So Tyler and I have completed our paper airplanes. Here's how we're gonna do this. We're on the balcony on my apartment building and we're gonna throw them off in three different heats. And it's gonna be a best two out of three. So distance matters, but only in the head-to-head -head competition. So let's reveal our planes. I have this long one, I'm gonna call it the swordfish. Wow. And then alpha, okay? Okay. Which one do you want to match up against Alpha? I'll match my Bulldog up against Alpha. Bulldog versus Alpha, Heat 1. Heat 2 will be Swordfish. Paper What's Airplane that? number 2. And then lastly, the most important round will be the playing card round. Let's see what you came up with for that. That looks like a piece of garbage. And then for my aircraft, we have this playing card. I will return. We need to limit all breathing exposure. Make sure we're covering the nose and mouth. Tiger. I'll be back, corona free. All right, people are watching us now. Here we go. Flight number one. We're gonna try and get it over the awning, which is gonna be tough, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Three, oh, that was a close one. Two, one. Go. This one I can guarantee is going to clear the awning. I just need to get a little more infinite. That was so close. I'm sick. Hey, how about you shut up down there? All right, so Tyler made a crucial error, mental error, not surprising whatsoever. We don't want to hit the awning, so we're going to throw up a little bit and let it glide back down. This is Team Alpha. Ready to go. So obviously that didn't go as planned. Tyler kind of ruined the whole thing by landing two uh -huh. of his planes on the overpass type John. Listen, 
out of competitive fairness and entertainment value, I figured let's do it again outside, but now we can throw head to head. All right, I got, I'm gloved up, fully protected. No, no, Tyler, we're gonna throw at the same time. Same, same time, maybe. All right, but I don't want you starting farther away from me because that's cheating. Right, come in here. You know what I mean? In three, two, two one. one. Oh! No, no, no. no, mine's farther for sure. Farther that way, mine's farther that way. You said throw that way, you threw that way. I threw that way. No, you're cheating. You threw that way. It's distance. Oh! We know mine was further. Mine, now mine's farther. All right, he right. too. Three. Oh, mine's, <laughs> mine's still going. Three, two, one. Oh, that's two for two. That's two for two. That's the dub right there. All right, last and final throw. The playing card. I'm throwing this with the glove on, okay? Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, dub season. Oh. It got stuck on my Dump glove. Dub season. Yeah. Thank you. That's one Thank out of you. three. Thank you. The one that counted. Thank you. One out of three. Whoa. All right, guys. That's all I got for you today. Hopefully, you did learn how to make four awesome paper airplanes. Big shout out to Tyler for uh, invading my household for an extended period of time and making this video with me. Thank you to my wonderful girlfriend, Whitney, behind the camera, making all the magic happen. Be safe out there, guys. Obviously, I'm overdoing a little bit. When I'm just outside, I'm not touching anything, the gloves, but please be safe. Do not spread the virus. You don't know if you have it. Protect people around you, and I'll see you next week. Oh, active giveaway for the Trident and Sword playing cards two weeks ago. Two weeks left to see who wins. Be sure to enter that link in the description, as well as links to build the more complicated airplanes. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.